ABC's John Carl, California Governor Gavin Newsom expressed concerns that a third party could end up playing spoiler for Democrats and for President Joe Biden come November. Take a look. I know a third party candidate isn't likely to be elected president or beat either one, but I mean, how Spoilers. worried are you? Yeah, how worried are you about that? We I have to be worried. But you know what? You've got to control the controllables. You've got to control what you have to control. Right now, it's getting the vote out. Let's look at no labels. I actually took the time. I encourage people to take, look at what are they for? And I thought, wow, this is literally reads as the accomplishment list of the Biden-Harris administration. Mm. So uh, are you concerned with the governor's concerns about yes. a third party? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, a third party? I am very concerned. I mean, I talk to Joy about it all the time. This mm -hmm. is her big, big thing. She always talks to uh, about Ralph Nader um, and how he was a spoiler. But I just learned today that when Jill Stein ran and, and it was Trump versus Hillary, mm -hmm. there were three states... Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, where Stein's vote total exceeded Trump's margin of victory. So had she perhaps not been part of it, Hillary Clinton would have been president. Yeah, and I, listen, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, we're old enough to remember when uh, Ross Perot was a spoiler mm, for George yeah. Herbert Walker Bush. And in that case, that was 1996, and in that case, you had George Herbert Walker Bush, who's a sane, good, normal human being running against Bill Clinton. He was a hoe, but he was a normal, good human being. <laughs> In this case, you have got Joe Biden, a sane, decent, normal human being running against a man who is an existential threat to democracy yeah. and to the foreign world, to the international world, to the universe. So this is not a normal, oh, you know what, we can afford to have a, a spoiler. We can afford to have Manchin running around. Um, there's a lot of very Incredible people who we know who've uh, left no labels now, including my husband, including Larry Liz, Hogan, Liz Cheney left the governor. Also, right? uh, I'm not sure Liz Cheney was ever no labels. Okay, no. she wasn't. No. Okay. I guess my so. There are definitely concerns of the spoiler effect. I do think that this country is overdue for another option than just two political parties. But I think you have to think about how to do that the right way that mm -hmm. it doesn't boost the most unfit individual. My thing is this, is whenever this conversation comes up, it's almost like we're all tacitly acknowledging that Biden is weaker than Trump. That's what it sounds like to me, because if Trump is actually weaker in a general than Biden... Wouldn't that mean that more vote that we shouldn't be worried he's going to lose more votes? No, because the, the people who support Trump are cult members and they're not going anyone. The people who support Biden are normal but human to beings. To be honest, I don't think 40 million Americans are cult members. I think there's a lot of people who can close their nose. They don't pay attention to the 24 hour news cycle. And they're like, yeah, but you know what? The economy was better. They, if you're watching Fox News, you have no idea about the Eugene Carroll. If he's indicted 91 so. times and his numbers keep his poll numbers keep going up and he keeps running away with primary. I think it's concerning. He Listen, we all heard him boast on tape in 2016 about grabbing a woman, about sexually assaulting a woman, and Republicans still voted for him this blindly. Is just and 53% of the them were time. women. This is not the time for a third party. Change comes very slowly in this country, as we know, watching the history that has unfolded here, good and bad. It takes time. We are a bipartisan situation right now. There is not a runway to bring in a third, although, Alyssa, I do concede, the polls show people are not super psyched about the candidates in general right now, but there is no room to swap it out, although I'm all bo on board for a split ticket third party going forward after this election. I, I am going that. to say this again. Polls do not make an election. Polls lie mm. because Hillary Clinton would have been president if the polls had been correct. Do not trust the polls. Trust what you know. The man.
So if they if the police was talking, telling the truth, according to Whoopi, um, Hillary could have been the president, but the pool does not say the truth. The pool always lies, so she doesn't even really rely on that. She don't want no one to rely on that. According to Whoopi, mainly the people have to go out and vote. Basically, the people know who the president they have to vote for. That president Donald Trump, have, according to Whoopi, he has been that one who has always been a dictatorship. He has been that one who has saying that he's a dictator. According to them, he's that one that have always um say he pulled women and no one can do him anything. He's that one that have been verbally insulted um people with physically challenge older people without any scaring the more he did the more democrat and republicans are voting for him so one of them said that the demo the republicans were called because they will always still vote for president donald trump so they don't even wonder there should be a third part a third um a third part because all those president donald trump um people will still vote for him and the third party might be divided which might make president Biden not to win so according to them some of them will refuse that how can 40 percent be all caught that that's not possible but according to, to them to some of them they believe that donald people who are supporting donald trump are very they standing they are not shaking no matter what he does he stand and said he will um he's a dictator he stood and said he will bully anybody. He stood and said he will put people in jail. But yet they are still voting for him. So according to the, so some of the women in the view, which means that the people don't care no matter what he's saying, they are still going to vote for him. No matter his character, no matter what he shows, they are die fan hard for him. So they will vote for him. So it doesn't really matter. But according to Whoopi, the people want a better American they want that America that will have freedom. They want that country that will be free to do whatever they want to do. Then they should vote. So according to Whoopi, they have to make their mind and vote what they really want. So according to Whoopi, according to Whoopi's own stand, so the people have to make up their mind and vote for the Americans that they want. They cannot vote nothing less, but they have to stand and vote for that country that they really want. That country that is free. Is democracy not that country that will be tyrant ruling? So according to them, they say they don't want. They prefer that there should not be no third party. A third party can come and put between the binary on a disadvantage. So they are just hoping and praying that there should not be any third party. But it's basically, what do you think? Do you think that a third party will come and distract, and that might make President Biden not to win, and giving President Trump the open hand to win? What do you think? Can I see your own opinion in the comment section? Thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please help subscribe and share the video. God bless you.